everyone and welcome to my thrifty frugal home where i share with you guys inspiration on how to create a clean cute and cozy home for less so in today's video i want to share with you 10 simple easy quick ways that you guys can adapt to your kitchen and save a little money because we all want that little extra money in our pocket so i hope that you guys can adapt one thing or maybe all of the things and start saving money these are things that don't feel like i'm being extremely frugal or that i'm going without or that i'm missing on anything they're almost second nature now so i don't really think about them they're just part of my daily life so i hope that you guys enjoy the video and let's get started number one i am currently using this percolator or espresso maker instead of the traditional coffee maker i really enjoy how simple and easy it is to make and all you have to do is fill up the base with water you put the coffee directly into that metal filter that you just saw there you screw the top back on and then you place it on your stove for a few minutes you come out with great tasting coffee every time it is a little strong so it might take you some getting used to it but another alternative to this would be a french press and i really like that as well but i prefer this for some reason so the way that i feel that like you can save money with this is because you do not have to buy any paper filters any refills for the cake cups or those little pods and also you don't have to have plugged in any extra appliances that are pulling electricity even when they're not being used also this might be a little weird but it is great for traveling i always struggle when i travel whether i'm staying at a hotel airbnb or at somebody else's house that the coffee just does not taste the same and i end up having to buy coffee wherever i'm at so if this is so compact you could just literally put it in your luggage take it with you and you have great coffee you don't have to spend money buying any coffee anywhere number two i like to have these big glass containers or jars like the ones that you guys see here i do like them to be airtight these have a little latch that close and it stays really airtight so the food stays fresher for longer the reason i feel that these jars save me money is because i'm able to buy those items those food items that i go through very often in a larger quantity and for lesser price not all items that you buy in bulk are a good deal but some of the items i like the rice um, this in the middle is a pancake mix and oatmeal when you buy those items in bulk they actually come to a great great price so i like to do that i get the big bags i put them in these jars and i have them just here so they're easy access as well if you like to have them in your cabinet you could do that also a good alternative if you don't want to spend the money on the glass jars or you don't have any glass jars are these uh, cereal containers I got these I believe the three pack was about $12 at Sam's as well and I like to also get the cereal which I feel like you get a way better deal when you buy cereal in bulk or a bigger quantity like the one that they sell at Sam's than buying the little boxes at the regular grocery store so these are great for cereal buying big quantities and i've even used it for other things i've used it to store cookies that i get bigger quantities of and even um, when they're out i use them as containers that we could put juice or water whatever we have that we need in the fridge so my third money saving tip is this blue dawn dish detergent that you guys see here this is my favorite and i get it at sam's as you can see it's a bigger jug and this is about six dollars you can clean so many things with this in your home but i wanted to show you guys what i do to wash dishes i get a glass bottle that i'm repurposing and i fill it up halfway with a dawn dish detergent and then i fill up the rest with water I give a little shake um, make sure that when you are filling it up with water you put the water really low otherwise it's gonna make like a bubble mess and it won't fill up properly and don't worry you're not gonna be left with a watery dish detergent that won't lather it's actually really concentrated so it's gonna work great and I've already been able to fill this same bottle about four times and I still have some to go 
And since I'm already doing the dishes, I'll go ahead and share with you guys my fourth tip, which is quite recently that I've been doing this, but I've quite been enjoying it, and it is that I have not been buying any sponges. So no matter how much I disinfected my sponges, I let them air dry, they always had that mildewy smell that I really did not like. It got in my hands and it kind of grossed me out. So I've just been opting for using just a regular dish rags or washcloths. They work great and I find that I don't have to be buying constantly sponges trying to find the perfect sponge that would not break in a week so this has been working out really great i also find that it's really simple at the end of the day i'll just hang it out to dry so it doesn't collect any smells in the morning i'll grab a new one and that old one i'll just put it in the dirty hamper with the other clothes and i'll just wait till i have a big enough load of towels and dish racks to do and it'll get washed and we'll just keep on that cycle For tip number five, I wanted to take you guys inside my fridge and show you that I do not buy any plastic water bottles. I went ahead and purchased this filter from Walmart. It is from the Pure brand. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. You do need to buy the refill filters for it. They're not that expensive and I believe they last four to five months if I'm not mistaken. But they are really great value for your money. Also, I wanted to show you my Yeti, and no, you do not need a Yeti. Any reusable water bottle would work, but this is also a great way that you could make an investment and save money in the long run. Tip number six is that I like to buy cleaning tools that you could reuse over and over again. Like this mop that you guys see here, you could tape the mop pad out and just throw it in the wash and just continue to use it time and time and time again. Tip number seven is that I don't use paper towels. Instead, I like to use dish towels or tea towels, however you guys might call it. And yeah, I really like to have them in a pretty container or basket. And I like to fold them nice and neat. This is probably the only thing that I don't mind folding, towels and dish rags and dish towels. I like the way they look in my kitchen it makes me happy to look at them and all the ones that you guys see in this basket right here i made myself from two old towels that i was going to throw out anyway and i decided to give them new use in the kitchen i actually was able to get more than this i gave my mom a few and i think i also have a few in the wash but they're really great to use in the kitchen and i just simply cut them to the size that I wanted as you see here uh, you could definitely also sew around the edges if you would like to do that if you don't want them to fray but for me I don't really mind I haven't had any problems so far and yeah I continue to use them over and over again I like that they're white um, like all basically all my towels are that I could bleach them and yeah again I just like to have them nice and neat in my kitchen Tip number eight is that I keep my cleaning supplies very minimal. I do like my home to smell good and feel clean, but I don't get a new product for everything that I'm cleaning. I try to get products that I can use on multiple things. And I'm not gonna go into detail here of all the products that you see here and some of my favorites and my cleaning tools, but if you guys would like to see a detailed video on all my frugal cleaning essentials, I would love to do that for you guys. So just leave a comment down below and I will make that for you. Tip number nine is probably my favorite tip of all, and it is to buy secondhand furniture. I purchased this dining table and chairs at a flea market really inexpensively. It actually came with three chairs, but I have the other one on my desk area. It is not gonna stay this color. It's gonna be transformed and painted. You'll be amazed what a little paint can do. And you not only can get dining tables, you can get shelves for extra storage for your kitchen, decor, and so many other things for very little money. And the last way that I save money in the kitchen is very simple. As you see, I don't have a dishwasher and I don't have a microwave either. If you guys don't know, I moved um, to Puerto Rico almost a year ago with the intention of only staying a year. I have a few more weeks to go, so I'll be moving back to the States. One of my main concerns was like, I don't have a dishwasher. How, how am I gonna survive? 
But guys, I'm still here. A year later, I survived and I can honestly say I haven't missed any of them. I've adapted quite well. I save money because I don't have to buy extra cleaning tablets for the dishwasher. I don't have to have anything extra plugged in. Now in the future, if wherever I move in the States, if it has a dishwasher, of course, I'm going to use it. It's fine. I'm not against dishwashers or microwaves. Not at all. I just want to prove to you guys that if you want to get rid of something because it's not adding anything to your life, that is totally doable. I honestly thought I was going to be really miserable without a dishwasher or a microwave and I didn't miss it one bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. For more inspiration, you can follow me on my Instagram. Also, some items that I mentioned here are some of my favorites. So you can find them down below in the link to my Amazon influencer store. And if you would like to see more of my thrifty frugal home, you can click here.